Welcome to another video. Tonight we're taking a look at the new Hyper Pi version 2 for the Raspberry Pi. And wow, it's got so much going on. I do see a lot of lag. I guess you do need to overclock the Pi. Because there's just so much wonderful graphic work going on and it's just everything is very very slow I mean look at this it's fucking amazing The old theme gallery there, you know, there's different themes you can choose. But today I'm not really getting into the themes. If you want to see a good thing on the themes, take a look at Drew Talks' video. He did an in-depth look at the entire Attract Mode setup. But what I can show you is I've copied over Game Boy Color games just for a test to see what it's like. So let's dive in. Okay, we're now in the uh, Game Boy Color area. These are the games that I've copied over. I copied my own artwork, everything over straight over, and it, and it worked out of the box. It has the the box art. It has the cart art and video snap. You have to use the thumbsticks on the Xbox uh, controller, that's what I use, to, to navigate these areas. It can be changed probably. But, uh, there's nothing else to do with them I guess. Instead of, instead of boring you with going through all these titles I mean it's look at it it's bloody beautiful so you can get this image it is down downloadable you have to be a member of the uh, project hyperpi Facebook group so head over there and find the find the group and get the link uh, I don't know if there's a public image out there yet, but the group, everyone in that group's been able to get it and very, very fast to get. But over the next few days, I'm probably going to load it up uh, and, and, and see how it looks, you know, with a full set. There is a lot of systems on there that, that I have no interest in. The PSP is too slow for the Raspberry Pi. So uh, this is more probably going to be based off for uh, having it on the PC. There's just no way you could... Look, it's got Gods of War as the main... Yeah, that's not going to run on the Pi. Minis will run no problem at all. But any of the other uh, the high-end stuff just... It's got no show. God, the worst system of all. So the base image that I've got is about 14 point something gigabytes. So very quick to download.
Let's take a look at the arcades. Oh, wow. Look at it. Oh my god, this is amazing. Don't you love the Irem games? They were brilliant. I was never a MK fan. I was more of a Street Fighter. I had friends that were pure blood bloody Mortal Kombat fans, but, but not myself. More of a Street Fighter. God, only if this would run a little bit smoother, that would be so awesome. <laughs> Look at the just thing on the right hand side. So great. Let's see what we've got in here for the uh, for the Amiga. Very well done. It's my Atari ST, you flea bags. Good old Zork. System info. 
there we go, you know, it's just showing me what I've got and the temp 50, 51 Celsius. I guess that's not too bad. It's run running a fan. But it is heavy. This image bait it's a base image. It doesn't come with any games. It's just a base image. It's very, very heavy. As in graphical and, and all types of stuff. But it's brilliant. So I think that could be it on this video today. I don't want to waste anyone's more anyone's time. You you get out there, get that image yourself, see what you can do. Hopefully somebody releases a 128 gigabyte image. I won't need it because I'll be making my own. But it's good to see people putting out extra stuff and putting out great images for other people that don't have the means to be able to make an image themselves. So I'll leave comments below don't forget to follow the channel and we will see you in the next video